Libra, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home, my name is welcome to Gen TV. You know what, Libra, I don't feel like doing my regular blurb today. All that stuff I'm supposed to say at the beginning of videos, I don't feel like it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Description box below. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not in the mood. I want to get straight to the reading. Let's put some transmutation music on. Energy, frequency. I'm, I'm, I'm in the zone. Let's do this. I don't feel like being business like. I feel like, I don't know, helping you. So let's get on with it. This is your karmic reading, Libra. That's all this karmic jazz you've been having to go through. And how can we, uh, how can we help you move forwards? This is the, uh, the channel is Minimal Earth and uh, it's called Frequency, Transmutation and Liberation with Violet Flame. There's a dude, looks like Jesus-y with violet flames in his eyes. I don't know. Doesn't look that great to be honest with you, but all right. All right. It's gonna help, it's gonna bring some good energy your way and transmute some of that negative energy so we can get out of this karmic cycle. I'm a Libra too, I'm, I'm not in a karmic cycle right now, thank God. But uh, I feel your pain. All right, Libra. This is your karmic reading. First card out. What you need to know, the, uh, the overall vibe, it's all done. You're good. Good, 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 good. All right. This is what you like to hear when you're having a reading, right? The reader going, yes, yes, yes. That's all jolly and good. So yeah, the overall feeling is that this is done. You're done with this karmic cycle. Yes. Now, death is, as a timing card, three to six hours, days a week. So, you know, it's an ending and it's going to happen now. The, uh, the cause of it is the Empress. Let's take a look at that. Why is the Empress the cause of all of this? Now, I get a sort of strange energy here. It feels like a hiccupy kind of, I'm about to do a hiccup when a fear, it's, it's source telling me that there's fear here. You're afraid of something. There's like a bit. Because it's not love related, so I'm like, I'm, I'm sort of getting, I don't want to read it because it's not really love related. And you know what I'm like, I like doing love readings, I do. But it's, it's important. All right, we'll go there, we'll go there. So, Kind of the causing of the endings is all of this. It sort of seems to be like financial changes in your life. It sort of seems like you've been in this holding pattern where you've never really been able to get past a certain level. And that's, if it sort of looks like that's kind of about to change. And that's because you've kind of been holding yourself back before. 
you felt trapped in this holding pattern. I just feel like that with with the Hierophant reverse. That's that's kind of about your beliefs. It's a feeling of being trapped. It's a feeling of kind of thinking things over and, and weighing things up and evaluating things. But um Just getting a bit too dramatic there, the music. It sort of feels like because of the changes to your finances, the, the karmic changes are coming up. You're not going to be going through this cycle anymore. It sort of, as that starts to improve, other aspects, parts of your life start to improve as well. So, why is the Three of Pentacles here in reverse? This is what you need to know right now. Now this is like not working together as a team. So this is changes are happening really quickly. This is like uh, your love life is somehow connected to your work life. And as you're stepping out, so this, this is the uh, releasing yourself from a your self-made prison really. As you release yourself, as the death of one cycle of your life comes and the beginning of another starts, you, as you release yourself, things move forwards like rapidly. It's it's to do with work. It's like, how much money do you think you should earn? Have you really thought about that? What do you think you're worth? I sort of feel like that coming in has, it's a catalyst to everything else just changing. And I don't really, I like, I don't like bringing career into love readings at all. I don't like doing, I, I like doing love readings, that's it. But this sort of feels like career changes for you are the catalyst for love changes and getting out of karmic relationships and stopping that cycle. I'm reluctant to kind of carry on with it. As, as I saw it coming in, I was like, oh, I don't like it, but it, it's... It... I don't think without one, you can have the other. Why? Because it's like, with it, earning the money that you feel like you deserve what you feel like um how do i put this what do you think your worth is how much do you think you should be earning i know how much i feel like i should be earning for me to be like yeah you know what i'm good with that um how much do you think what's your worth when you start putting that into practice Okay, well, you know, what do I have to do to get there? That all of those hurdles that you have to get over to get to get to that get you out of your karmic cycles romantically as well. And it helps you release fear and, and bring in love. Is it because you'll meet this person at work? or something like that. Yeah, maybe, maybe, but not like immediately. It's more sort of like, take your mind off of love. If, if love's been sort of too much on your mind, it's, it, in a way it's like taking your mind away from that energy it helps you to manifest it like i always say if you're watching a kettle boil it's going to take a long time to boil so keep taking your mind away from what you're lacking in a sense will bring this hot dude charging on in look at him damn 
Yes, please. I was thinking about like hot ginger dude with long hair and brown eyes. Oh. I don't know anyone like that, but ginger dude with brown eyes. Yes, please. Yes. This is like a hot blonde dude with a stash. In. Hairy dudes. Yes. Please. Let me know in the comments below <laughs> what you think of that. You ever see like redhead dudes with brown eyes? It's like, no, I'm distracted. They're all cute as well. It's like a darker red hair. Close the door so you can't hear the washing machine. My daughter's just walked past and left the door open. Now you can hear the washing machine. I've just seen 11 11 on the clock. I'll wait for it to walk back. Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm digressing from the reading. Obviously. Anyway. Let's move forward to... This is what's coming up. In restlessness. Tell me more. Sue! So, yeah. Can you close the door? The washing machine... Sorry, my love. I, I just... Thank you. <laughs> she knows why I have the door closed. All right, why is the Four of Swords here for what's coming up for you? A restlessness, why? Because you don't really want to be focusing on work. You want to be, you know, uh, that's coming up. So you focus on work and you're like, okay, I'm doing what Jen says, I'm focusing on it. You don't really want to be focusing on it. You want to, you want this to come in and you're getting restless. You're like, well, this is what I want. I don't, I don't want to think about work. I don't want to, I don't want my focus to be there. It's not, yeah, money's great. It's good. I got myself that really awesome outfit. Oh, those new shoes I really wanted. Yeah, that was good. But, uh, that new handbag was, that was, that was a good purchase. But I don't want to be thinking about, you know, how abundant life is in that I want to think about love I want to think about connection I want, I want to you know walk away from <sighs> business 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 I want love tell me more lonely I want this cycle to end now. I've I've come I've come out of the dark time. I've come out of the karmic like situation I've been in. I'm I'm working hard. I don't want this anymore. Well, you might be happy in hearing this. Then this is like best you can hope for. So. Oh, for Christ's sakes. The cards do that when they're like, yep, we're, you don't want to read us anymore. Let me just pick them up. Hold on. I kind of want to say everything that you're going through, all the, you know, cycles that you go through, it's a step forwards. So you get to this next step forwards where you're like, oh, yes, I'm working hard. And I'm, I'm, now what? It's a, it's a step in the right direction. So be patient and just get on with it. But I'm getting that hiccupy energy. You don't want to be alone forever. I hear you. So why is this Ace of Swords here? This is just it. I think this is kind of what the universe is trying to 
void for you is situations that hurt situations that you know people coming in that don't really have your best interest at heart and it sort of feels like all right you think you're ready do you think you think you're ready all right well let's test libra then let's let's test libra then let's send them someone who who uh they're not very communicative and uh they're really great. They have a great time together on a date, but then they don't call back for like three days. And then they leave it for a week. Then they, you know, then you don't really hear from them at all. And now they're ghosting and they're, they're not talking back at all. And you're sort of like, well, I've been through all of this. I've done this. Why is this coming up again? I'm doing it. It's just a test, Libra. It's just a test. It's boring. The universe just wants to make sure you've learned your lesson. So it's going to throw a little spanner in the works to see if you're really, truly ready and how you handle an idiot coming into your panorama. Are you going to, are you going to choose to go backwards or are you going to go, no. I'm not going to get annoyed by this. I'm just going to say no and I'm going to move forwards. That's the problem though. You might not do that. It's an obstacle that you have to clear. And, and this is you in the near future is that I can't let that go. I've got the bit between my teeth now. I've got to chase. I want this person. I want them. Tell me more. Because you're not ready. You need to be like, hold on a minute. What are you doing? You're, you're ghosting me. You're not talking to me. All right. Bye bye. Don't chase what doesn't want you. So if this comes in, somebody's playing hard to get. It's just a test from the universe. You think that you're ready, so be ready. If somebody messes you around, don't take it hard. Don't let it knock you down. Just be like, so let's have a look at the outcome here. We've got the Knight of Wands in reverse. So it's a very scattered energy that one and I feel that that's coming from this is just another karmic relationship coming in and that's the whole point of this reading this is another karmic coming in to test you see if you're ready don't mess it up don't let your energy get scattered be like be this protect yourself from that look at this shell she's protected from all the elements She's drinking from her own cup. Oops. There's three cards there. Tell me more about the outcome. this is entirely up to you Libra you can chase after what doesn't want you and another karmic relationship or you can pass the test this is kind of like this is the choice you're, you're gonna make you got a couple of cards of choices here you can choose your nine of swords which is like misery or you can choose to take the next step towards the next platform here the next uh, what's the word I'm looking for like cycle the next uh, the complete one cycle and start uh, the next one which is this which is this is what you're looking for satisfaction guaranteed I don't know you're going to have someone come and mess you around. I see it coming. When? Let's be
be prepared for it. When is this idiot coming to mess you around? Uh, it's someone coming back. Someone coming back from the past who, who you sort of have been waiting for. They've never really kind of truly left. So it's a karmic that's... You know what? It might feel like an important person to you, but generally in the reading, they're not showing up that strong. So they're not. And that's why it's a karmic. Because you don't actually really need this person. It's just a lesson. You and your their soul want to teach each other. Blah, blah, blah. Then you'd go back at the end and go, <laughs> took a little out of that one, didn't it? It, I, you know what, I sort of do feel like this life is a bit of a computer game and when you're done with it you go back and clap each other on the shoulders and oh, that was a fun game. No, it wasn't, that wasn't fun. No, it wasn't, was it? No, it wasn't. But <laughs> that bit where you did, you remember that? Yeah, that was a wild ride. I think that's what it is. They're not actually showing up that strong in the reading because they're not that important. Even if you think they are, they're actually not that, generally speaking, they're not that important in your life. You have to prove to be this. Let it go. They're still hanging around. This person's like insidiously hanging around. They might still follow you on Instagram or, or, uh, be friends on on Facebook and you know they're, they're looking at what you're doing and and they might comment every now and then you're like oh it was them they're not showing up that strong they're gonna come back they're gonna it's the universe testing you how are you gonna deal with it you're gonna walk away you're gonna move forwards to, to this all right I'm gonna take this into extended I'm gonna ask about this karmic relationship how do they feel about you how do they see you what are their intentions towards you what do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe uh but uh we're gonna be strong here right you're not gonna you're not gonna go back right let's just pull you a couple of oracle cards The energy is gaining momentum. I feel it. Don't you feel it? Tell me. Tell me in the comments below. Are you feeling things start to move? Oh, one more. Have faith in your dreams. Oh, shiz. Please have faith in your dreams. And your love lyric for the day. She said, leave it to me, everything will be alright. She said, leave it to me, everything will be alright. All mixed up by the cars. Please watch the Rock Goes to College version of that song. The singer Benjamin Orr, I have his name tattooed to my, to my person. Uh, he's probably the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Just saying. Thanks for joining me. See you guys later.